All right, guys, fall has come around. Well, maybe not quite fall, but fall projects have. So today I'm going to be incorporating fall with the pumpkin as well as some chicken wire. Come check out this amazing little decor piece I have that will spice up your home decor all fall long. Hi guys and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization but all on a budget. Come check out today's project. Don't forget, in the description box below, I try and link everything I use. If I can't find exactly what I use, I try and link something as close as possible. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know what you think in the comments below. All right guys, I think it's time to get started. Here we go. All right, so before I get started, I just wanna let you all know that I have a million ideas for the fall, and I've picked up several things, several pieces to do fall um, DIYs with you, DIY crafts with you. However, it never seems like I have enough time. So we're gonna start with this one, and I've seen a lot of people pick these up and start taking them apart. It looks pretty easy to do. I was able to separate my base pretty easy and put it back together. We're going to remove it again. I have a paint tray and a paintbrush, and then I have several different paints here. Now I wanted to make it orange, but the only orange I have is this acrylic craft paint by Anita's, and it's pretty bright. So I also have a brown, which is an espresso brown by Craft Smart. And I have this khaki color by Craftsmart also. These can be picked up really inexpensively and affordably at Walmart and Michaels and Hobby Lobby and all the craft stores. Then I also have my white chalk paint by Waverly. So I'm going to kind of use this and mix it with that orange. I'm initially just going to use these two, the orange and the white, because I basically want to tone it down and still have that chalky feel. But I want to give it some depth and dimension also. So that's why I went ahead and I brought these along. I'm not sure if it's going to just make it a lighter neon orange. So if it does that, then I'll go ahead and add some khaki just to get some more of that earthiness to it, earthy color to it. All right, let's get started. I really want to focus on the back here just because there's not as much going on. And if you've watched Crafts by Caitlin, you know you could just easily heat this up with a blow dryer and peel it off. However, I don't have a blow dryer, so I gotta try and remove this. And I forgot I did my nails, so they're a little bit thicker than usual. Usually you can pick these up pretty easy. I'm sure you could set something damp on it. I'm just not sure how much that would ruin the wood or warp it or whatever because it's not real wood. So, you know, give and take there. Also, <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am having to protect my surfaces now. I got a new table, thank you mom and dad. <laughs> and so I got rid of the old one. Now I don't wanna go ahead and paint on there because I don't wanna end up ruining my table. I know. Useless information, but now you know. The residue of the sticker is still on there and I can feel it when I run my fingers over it. So I'm going to go ahead and get um, a sanding block. I have several from the Dollar Tree and just run it over that real fast. And I'll probably run it over the entire back just to give it a, like an even texture. Okay guys, I must have forgotten to hit record when I did the first coat. I don't know where that footage went if I did record it, but we're on coat number two. I'm using a little bit bigger dish than I did the first time because I was overflowing out of it. And I'm gonna try and mix a little bit less um, orange in with there and probably a little bit more Kathy to get, Kathy, a little bit more khaki to get a more earthy feel. So let's see how this works out. Oh, crumb. Oh well. Get a little bit more of a natural um, pumpkin-y color. Tone it down a little. Alright, and now I'm going to go ahead and paint it over here. I think I do wish it was a little bit more orangey. So we'll squeeze a little orange in there. Do a second layer while it's still wet. There's the color I was looking for is I'm going to take some of the khaki while it's still wet as well as the espresso and I'm just going to try and make some of those ridges that you usually see in pumpkins. If I don't like how it turns out, the good news is super, whoops, sorry guys, super easy to just go ahead and paint over and start over. Put a little bit more of this color along the bottom because that's where pumpkins usually sit is on their bottom. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use that same brush without completely cleaning it and just put a little bit of the light stuff on there too. Sorry my light is going away so I hope you guys can still see this. 
Also, I'm going to take that espresso color and I'm going to paint the top stem with that. I wish I would have gotten more of these because I would love to write happy fall y'all or something like that on the front and just have it as a door hanger with some calligraphy but I didn't think about that when I was purchasing so we're going to let this dry we'll go ahead and finish it up and I have a really cool idea I'm really happy with it so stick with me guys. Okay guys no lie I think this next part is going to be a little bit tricky but we're going to try and make it work because I think it'll look really cool in the end. Now this that I'm using is real chicken wire. It's not the craft kind. So I'm going to need to be a little bit more careful. And honestly, the craft kind would probably make this a lot easier. But it's not what I own. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chicken wire. And I'm going to take my pumpkin that I painted. And I'm going to put the painted side down onto the craft wire. And I'm going to kind of try and follow a couple of these lines that are already in there. So I'm going to kind of try and put it like that. Now i got to be careful because I don't want to scrape up my pumpkin. So that's what I have so far. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to bend this up so that it's like on the back. Okay, I'm actually going to probably trim this down a little bit more also so I don't have so much hanging off because I don't want to bend all of it in. Okay guys, we got it all trimmed up so it's easy to push down and have against the board. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is add hot glue to all those places where it touches the board so that it's not scratchy against the back part. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so as you can see here, after I got done with the hot gluing, I ended up having... Let me back up. I went ahead and I had to end up clamping and then hot gluing because otherwise the hot glue would just pop back up even after it had dried down. So I went ahead and did that. And then I took my wood filler and I just wanted to go ahead and cover it a little bit more, give it a little bit more security, make sure nothing popped up, but also protect my wall a little bit. So I went ahead and I patted down some of that all the way around and if my finger started getting too much on it, I'd just wipe it in the middle because that would clean my finger off and I could pat some more. I'm sure there's a million other options and better ways to use it, but that is what I did. So here is the pumpkin as of right now. This is the back. Here's our front. I'm loving how this looks. So next what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to wrap twine around this top part right here. So one part of this project that I have found extremely tricky is figuring out how I want to hang it. I tried putting it on a wreath and I didn't like it. Um, my original thought was to go ahead and just put a string that, or a piece of twine that came up and over or a piece of rope or something like that. But I wasn't sure I wanted to do that either. <laughs> I thought about using a sawtooth hanger and just extending by putting like a, one of those building blocks on the back and then putting the sawtooth hanger. I think that's a great option, but that's not what I wanted to do. So I think what I have settled with and what I'm going to proceed with and whether it works or not, we'll find out, is to use this burlap ribbon. It's from the Dollar Tree and it has the wire frame around it. It's also one that is a little bit, um, it's a tighter and smaller weave and so it holds better. It's not gonna fall apart as much. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece and I'm going to fold it in half and then at the top I'm going to try and tie a twine bow. While I'm doing this I wanted to say also another option is if you take that piece that you originally broke it out of you could easily hot glue it back onto there and have it stand up or you could take a piece from the back of a frame and you could put it on there and have it kind of stand up like a picture. So there are some other options. This is definitely not the only option out there. That's pretty good right? Meh. Yeah. Since this is a smaller piece, I don't want it to hang too far down. I'm going to start by folding this over all the way. When you're tacking it with the hot glue, you do have to be really careful because it could easily seep through these holes. So you'll have to forgive the bad lighting. I have my hot glue gun on the floor and um, I don't have a plug-in close enough to the new area that I'm using. So I'll put more hot glue gun or hot glue gun. I'll put more hot glue on there, but I don't want to burn my fingers. So that's what I'm doing right now. And now we just need to tie a twine bow to go right up here at the top. Whoosh. Voila! Here it is, guys. 
Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this or if I'm going to go ahead and make it into um, something that sits on my counter. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Let me know how you would display it and where your favorite place to have it sit for the season would be. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I can't wait to do another craft with everyone next week, but until then, bye bye